a little bird landed on the bird bath, but it flew away. And that's good. Because Henrietta is over there drinking out of the bird bath now. Crazy what's going on around here. Things are changing. So this past Sunday, I was sitting here in my lounge chair on the deck. It was 83 degrees and a beautiful, almost summer-like day. Now it's Wednesday morning, November 1st. 2023 and apparently last night we had a freeze because there's ice in the bird bath and I don't think the birds are too happy about that so once we recover from the shock of all this stuff I'm gonna walk around the area and show you more changes we're gonna take a walk around the neighborhood show you what's new. So here's something new just down the street from the house. The new guard shack being built for the entrance of EWTN. So there's a look at it from the front. Ain't it cute? And a look from this side. Somebody's still working on it. And that's going to be the new entrance for EWTN. You swing around this way. Just down here is the current entrance with the sign. And of course, just beyond the sign. And just down the hill of the current entrance is the current guard shack. But that's going to be replaced by the new guard shack. And then when you come across the other side of Old Leeds Road, what do you find? The new public supermarket. And the supermarket just opened this morning. And just beyond the supermarket, is the amazing traffic circle. Something we've all been waiting for in this area to see how it works out. So far, so good. So earlier in the day, I went down to the Irondale Library. They're having a fill-a-bag sale. Let's see if Publix will have a fill-a-bag sale for their grand opening. So here's what we got at the public's first day in business sale. A bunch of cinnamon rolls that we can get home and have with our coffee. Yummy. So in the future, it might be worth taking a little stroll down the street to see what's on sale and what kind of goodies they have. And they might be a friendlier neighbor than some of the other places in the neighborhood. You never can tell. So there you have it. My reward for walking down the street. I think that will be my Alabama heritage. So here's one of my favorite places in Irondale the library, the current location. And one of the things that makes it so fun is having a book sale for a dollar a bag. So there was our bag. Right now, it's empty. 
but not for long. So, over the past week or so, I think we fold seven bags at the library. And we can only show you a small portion of the loot that we've gathered up. Books I can relate to. Books about rock and roll. DVDs about science. And books about people who had better days in their careers. More DVDs. A book about birds, especially cardinals. We got lots of cardinals. Here's one I just like the title of. This is a favorite. A book about the old 16 magazines from the 60s. Who would have thought they would put a book out about that thing? One about Walt Disney and all the classic songs. One of those people that used to paint in the old days. And more science and history DVDs and stuff. A movie I like. Books about show business people. Where are they now? And hummingbirds. My hummingbirds are gone for the year, I think. They all went south. But, a lot of fun to fill a bag for a dollar.